everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry there was no videos last week. I was recovering from an ear infection, but I'm feeling better now. Today I'm doing my July book haul. I have about six books to show you, so let's just jump right into it. The first book I have here is All We Left Behind by Ingrid Sundberg. This is a YA contemporary standalone. Kurt and Marion meet each other at a lake one summer night, and one kiss leads to something real. But when they're back on land, and at school they pretend that they don't know each other. They both have a past and memories of things that they don't want the other to know about. I think Marion has to try to show Kurt that it's okay to trust her and to share things that he isn't really willing to share. This book sounds like it could be a cute YA contemporary, but it does sound like it has an emotional touch to it as well. I don't read a lot of YA contemporary regularly, but this book does sound interesting to me, so I'm looking forward to reading it in the future. Next up, I have After the End by Amy Plum. This is a YA post-apocalyptic book, and I think it's the first book in a trilogy, or it may be a series. This book follows a girl named Juno, who fears the outside world. A nuclear war has ravaged everything beyond the borders of her land, or at least that's what she's been taught. When Juno returns from a hunting trip, she realizes that her friends and family have been abducted, and she sets out on a journey to find them. But when she leaves the borders of her land, she realizes an unsettling truth. There was no nuclear war, and everything she's known has been a lie. When she sets out to find her family and friends, she realizes that someone else is after her, and this certain person knows about her past. This sounds like an intriguing post-apocalyptic book. I do own other books by Amy Plum. I think she wrote a YA paranormal event, a C trilogy in the past, and I own that, but I haven't read it. However, I am looking forward to getting to this book. It sounds right at my alley. The next book I have here is Parable of the Talents by Octavia Butler. This is the sequel to an adult post-apocalyptic book. The first book is called Parable of the Sour. This series is one of the series on the adult science fiction in books that I want to get to, so if I like the first book, I'll definitely pick up this sequel. I don't know if this duology is like a direct sequel to the first one, or it might just be a companion novel to the first one. I'm not sure. The next book I have here is Hereafter by Tara Hudson. This is the first book in a YA paranormal fantasy series, and I think this book follows a girl named Amelia, who has no memory of a past life of hers, and she saves a boy named Joshua from a river. When she meets the, his boy, her life changes, and I think Joshua helps her piece together the pieces of her past life. This sounds like an intriguing book. I haven't really read many books about past life stories other than Transcend by Julie Ann that I read a couple of months ago. When this book was recommended it to meet with the trope of a past life, I decided to pick it up, and it looks like this book might have a slight paranormal slant to it as well. We'll see. I also bought two Kindle whole books this month. The first being Checkmate, This is War by Kennedy Fox. This is the first book in a new adult romance series, and each book in this series is its own duology. But all of the books in this series are connected. I believe this first book follows a couple, Travis and Viola, and these two people hate each other at the beginning of the book. but. Their mutual hate for each other eventually blossoms into a relationship. That's all I know about the, this book or this series in general, that it's an enemies to lovers romance. I really like enemies to lovers romances, so I wanted to check out this series. I've heard nothing but great things about this series and about Kennedy Fox in general, so I think I'm really going to like this series. The final book that I bought in July is Ruin by Rachel Van Dyke. This is the first book in a new adult romance series. I don't really know much about the, his book other than Rachel Van Dyken is a good new adult romance author, so that's why I wanted to pick up one of her books. Hopefully I like it. Those are all of the books that I bought in July. Comment down below and tell me what books you bought recently. I'd love to know. If you want to see more videos from me, I'll put some videos up on the screen in case you guys want to check those out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.